You want to build a model railroad that resembles a real-world prototype railroad. The problem is that railroad's hundreds or thousands of miles away. How do you figure out what you want to include in your layout? You could take off from work, get in your car, or get a plane ticket, go all the way out to the railroad, get a hotel, spend a week studying the railroad, or you could study the railroad right from your computer. Hey everybody, my name is Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Trains. Today I'm drinking, well, I can't lie, it's October. I'm drinking pumpkin spice coffee. If you want to tell me what kind of coffee you are drinking and have it featured just like these guys right here, you can put that in the comments below and who knows, you might see yourself on an episode of Coffee and Trains. Cheers, guys. Technology is awesome. We can scout an entire rail division or an entire railroad right from the comfort of our home. Here are some useful resources for doing just that. Number one is Google Maps. Now, that one's kind of obvious. We all know about Google Maps, but Google Maps is invaluable in terms of being able to see where a rail line goes. And then if it's close enough to a road, we can use Google Street View to see what it's like there. You can get details as such what grade crossings look like, what scenery should it resemble, what does the signage look like on or around the railroad. Plus, you can traverse hundreds of miles of a rail line in a matter of seconds. You can skip over the sections you aren't going to model and focus on towns or industries that you will model. Google Maps is a resource that I have used heavily in planning my next model railroad. Every time I need a little inspiration with my track plan, I simply hop on Google Maps and see what is around the rail line that I can feature in the model. Google Maps is great, but what if you want to see where a rail line goes and Google Maps just isn't cutting it? Then it's time for something with a little more data. This is where I turn to OpenStreetMaps.org. OpenStreetMaps is a terrific resource. The biggest difference between this and Google Maps in terms of railroads is that you can turn on a transport layer that shows you rail lines. This lets you follow rail lines and see where they go. It also shows sidings, runaround tracks, and yards. If you come across an amusement park, by the way, it'll show you the roller coasters too. This means that it is super easy to find various points of interest to model. It's great to see how the railroads have designed different areas. You can see the various challenges and solutions to operating in different areas by how they've designed the track. This becomes especially interesting when you're looking at concentrations of industrial areas and railroad facilities. Being able to count sightings and tracks like in this industrial area or see a yard set up like this Norfolk Southern Linville yard right here. OpenStreetMap can also help you find rail lines you didn't even know about. I've been consulting OpenStreetMap while designing my new Yakin Valley Railroad layout. It has helped me in honing in the exact track plan by figuring out the industries and their track needs. OpenStreetMap is a phenomenal resource for track planning. Next is a bit of a different resource. One of the coolest things that's come about in the age of the internet is live streaming, which has brought us to Virtual Railfan. Virtual Railfan is a website and YouTube channel with dozens of live streaming cameras at various points on different rail lines in North America. You can watch trains live as they come through these different locations. You can see what the actual trains going through the areas you want to model look like. Virtual Railfan has become so much more than just live stream cameras. They offer paid memberships and allow for custom setups of various streams. So if you want to watch multiple cameras simultaneously, you can do that. They even have a streaming service, VRF.TV, that has over 200 productions you can watch. These include old archival videos of railroads that don't exist anymore. So you can do research on fallen flags that you may want to model. Virtual Railfan is a great resource for prototype modeling. No, they did not sponsor this video. I just really like them. What are some of your favorite online resources to check out for layout planning? Leave that in the comments below. I really wanna see it and find some new places to check out some stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't checked out my other new channel, Jimmy's Trains, you can check that out right here. You can also check out this video right here as well. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.